The worker spit in a sheriff's deputy's burger and got caught at it. Now that deputy plans to sue the fast food chain. K2's Bob High has video of the deputy confronting the man who admitted to doing it and more on what's behind the lawsuit, Bob. Yeah, Deb, it took the Washington State Patrol crime lab and DNA analysis of that burger to prove the worker spit in the deputy's burger. But frustration with Burger King itself is behind the deputy's lawsuit. He was stopping at the drive-thru just like this. I'd like a Whopper, please? Ordering a burger at this Vancouver Burger King just over a year ago. But he wasn't just anyone. Uh, handler protection. He Windsor. was Clark County Sheriff's Deputy Ed Bilsma, seen here in 2005. Bilsma was in uniform and driving a marked sheriff's cruiser. Unfortunately for Bilsma, the man cooking burgers that night... How do you please, sir? Guilty. ...was 22-year-old no, Gary Herb of Vancouver, in court pleading guilty to third-degree assault against the officer. His crime, seen in a photograph hard to look at, spitting on the deputy's burger. You can see it at the center of the patty. We couldn't find Gary Herb. We did find his dad. I, I really can't make any comments. So. Feel for the officer at least? Well, um, again, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I've only heard one side of the story, so I, I really don't have anything else that I can, okay. can say. Deputy Bilsma, suspicious from the start, opened the burger before biting into it. At Herb's sentencing, he said there's been a lasting impact. Everything from eating to sleeping and social events. And um, I, I just can't tell you how appalled I am at somebody would do something like this to me or any one of my other uh, fellow officers. Frustrated that Burger King hampered the investigation, Deputy Bilsma is suing the restaurant chain. When the deputy asked for changes, for an apology, for any kind of assurance that this wouldn't happen again, that just hasn't been forthcoming. Now, Burger King says it fired the employees for violating procedures, but the deputy's attorney says the restaurant isn't doing criminal background checks on the people it hires. One of the fired workers also apparently has hepatitis. Some fired workers, like Gary Herb, had been there for a year, and there's still no telling even now how long they'd been spitting into officers' burgers there. It is thoroughly disgusting. disgusting. We, don't, we don't happen in this case, and we, we just hope it was an isolated incident. You hope so. All right, Bob. Thank you, sir.